this new information. Uh, a few of those treated and released, but we are just being told that at least four people still remain in serious or critical condition at a local hospital. We will have more information on these people as we get that tonight. Now, we spoke with members of this small community, and we heard story after story of the tornado's damage. One man was thrown clear across the street after the storm ripped apart his house. Marcy Mann has more. All right, we'll have more from Marcy Manley coming up in just a little bit. But first, I want to show you guys a couple of what we caught on camera moments. This first was a dog, a puppy that was trapped underneath the rubble. Take a look at this video and what our photographer was able to capture. All right, if we don't have that, Dan Scoff, I'm going to ask you to get ready. Uh, we're obviously having some technical difficulties tonight. So if we can, Dan Scoff, I'm going to ask if we can go to you in the Weather Center. Because, Dan, you have new information on this tornado's uh, damage pack. I do, I do. Brand new information coming off the public information statement, which is issued from the National Weather Service in Tulsa.